Now anything that you want to do, you want to look at the planets and stars. You want to step out of your house, the planets should align themselves properly, yes? Right time, wrong time. Are you looking at all those things? Hmm? Rao Kalam, Guna Kalam, whatever else. If you want to get married, you go and ask the third person, can I live happily with my wife? I think it's obscene. <laughs> whatever the kind of fool you marry, why can't you live well with her or with him? Whatever kind of idiot you're married to, once you've chosen to marry, why don't you live well with them? Or if they're showing some new kind of madness that you did not predict, why don't you leave them? Anyway, with all the predictions, horoscopes all matching well, still these two people nobody can match, isn't it? Any astrologer will match horoscopes for people, but could… can they match these two people? Hmm? To what extent you're being responsible for the other, only to that extent your marriage works. Is it so? How responsibly you handle the other person, only to that extent it is working. Is that so? No? Personal development I'm talking. Hmm? I understand. I'm talking about developing your life. Yes, I'll come to that. Now, See, every shape, every form has a certain impact upon you. Now this vessel is sitting next to me, it is animating its own kind of vibrations. Every object is doing it. But now it's up to me whether I allow this vessel to influence me or I influence this vessel. That's left to me. Which way should it be? Which way should it be? This vessel should influence my life or I should influence its existence. Human nature should do that, isn't it? Now, all these stars and planets, they are inanimate things, aren't they? Hmm? Rock and stone, isn't it? Rock and mud, isn't it so? Inanimate. Now, should inanimate things rule the destiny of your life, or human nature should rule the destiny of inanimate things. Which way should it be? Human nature should, if you have realized the potential of what it means to be this. Otherwise, inanimate things will rule you. Now Pavnami comes, full moon day. Do you know, during full moon days and new moon days, People who are little mentally disturbed go hyper on those days. Are you aware of this? Do you all go crazy on New Moon days? Huh? Do you? No. Compared to them, you are a little more stable. Because of this, wherever the moon goes, you can carry on your normal process of life. But for them it is not like that. Because they are in a certain level of instability, if the moon comes up, they are going crazy. The moon disappears, they are going crazy. So, you are a little more stable, suddenly moon has no impact upon you. It is pulling up the whole ocean, but no impact upon you if you are a little stable. Similarly, if you stabilize yourself further, nothing has an impact upon you, but you impact everything. Human nature should decide the course and the destiny of all inanimate things, not the other way around, isn't it? If you allow yourself to be influenced, anything and everything is willing to influence you, but that's not the way you should exist. You must take the course of your destiny into your hands and you should go through what is needed to empower yourself that way, rather than waiting for the stars and planets to fall into position. Many of the stars that you're looking at up in the sky, they don't even exist, do you know? 
Many of them have disappeared long ago. Because they're so far away, the light is still coming, slowly. Yes, light is coming very slowly. That is why for so long you're seeing. Actually, the stars have disappeared long ago. But you are making your calculations based on those stars. It is just that every object has an influence. Definitely, planetary positions have an influence. But whether you allow yourself to be influenced or not, that is in your hands. If you have realized your human nature, you should not allow all these planets to decide your life, isn't it? You must decide the quality of your life. <laughs>